are basically um, being hosted by microbes. You know, they live within us. And so right now we're in a, in a world where we're talking viruses all the time. But it's interesting because we were talking bacteria before we were talking viruses. If you could recall, the microbiome became a big discussion. But we also have a biome, which is part of the microbiome. And so there are viruses and bacteria that outnumber the the body. I mean, uh, there, there are trillions and trillions of these things. And we live harmoniously generally with these things. And, and if we have a good immune system, if we have everything in place, we have proper food, air, water, um, nutrients, uh, uh, in addition to our basic food, added nutrient, the sun, um, we will live in harmony with these little, little creatures. So they get implicated as, as uh, little demons, you know, so to speak, mm-hmm. demons when they're not, you know, and if they're created in labs, that's not too good. Um, but if we have our own and we live amongst the natural world and the mut- and the viruses that mutate on their own and the bacteria that mutate on their own, we live with them. And we generally are not affected by them unless we allow them to break into our barriers where they're always, you know, they're hovering around, but they're not penetrating and they're not in disharmony with uh, with our bodies. So the current state where everybody's worried about, you know, uh, catching this virus that's in the air, um, if we take care of ourselves, we will not be catching the virus. We can actually live with it. So there are many ways that we can uh, we can help ourselves, protect ourselves from this and any other any other organism or um, any anything else that would infiltrate our lives that would cause disease and illness, and we can do that with provisions that um, just take a little sense, you know, a little common sense. But a lot of people don't have common sense, Lisa. Um, they, uh, you know, they can use uh, organic foods made and prepared well, um, grow growing one's own food, um, using proper. Um, balance of 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 the uh, the foods themselves in uh, in proper amounts and eating properly through the day and not overeating or carelessly doing it and using supplements wisely with guidance and using outside the the sun the elements the beautiful natural environment to help um keep that harmony you know stay outside go and enjoy you know so that all of that is something that I learned and gleaned, and that's part of the naturopath's um, uh, armamentarium to, to to teach people about those basic things in life that we can protect ourselves with right now. People are so caught up in the fast food, fast life, um, right. you know, that kind of lane, and that has caused such deterioration. And that puts people at high risk for developing this particular item that's in the air now and any other you know diseases that are rampant you know diabetes and hypertension and so on but the current state it's a combination of a lot of ignorance and um and misuse of our resources our natural resources and it has broken down um us as a global um community people have broken down the the traditions have been thrown aside and so forth in general and we've we've made way for a a very fast world which is taking us down so i would have somebody who i had to mentor right now to get into a holistic type of um, study environment where you can learn all of those things together, the, the, that which can help you in, in, in an instant or help you immediately if you're hurt or injured or suffering, and that which will help sustain you, and that is the other the other means which uh, naturopathy offers. So convention in naturopathy, I would have it. Integrated, as you said. 
I, I, you know, so the good news is I like that you said, you know, we can live in harmony. I mean, you know, with this, the, this bacteria and all this and all this that's in the world, as you said, but, you know, as long as, you know, we're taking care of, of ourselves and what you shared with some of the different items is really what is part of your book plus more. I mean, as a, you know, chapter that I read was, you know, about breathing, the importance of breath. I mean, as you say, it's common sense. And I almost think, you know, yes, it's common sense, but it's even more than that because when I read your book for the first time, there was so much in your book that seemed basic once I read it, but I'd never thought about it before I read it, right? So I just, I appreciate so much, um, you know, many of these chapters and what you put in the book. And like you mentioned just now with, with the sun and with all things together and the plant-based and the nutrition uh, part of it. And actually, uh, it's a good segue here just for a moment. You know, once you wrote your book, Be Consciously Healthy, um, the you had to write a second book to complement that book, which was is called The Conscious Eat. And that book was uh, co-authored also with Diane Friedberg, where the two of you put together one of the most beautiful cookbooks that we've gotten raves from here in the company that is actually those plant-based, nutrient-rich and delicious, I might say, because I got to be privy to taste very many of the of the uh, items in the cookbook, the recipes in the cookbook. But thank you for putting that together too. And I want um, our listeners to know that that's a resource resource that goes with the with your Be Consciously Healthy book and uh, very, uh, very creative uh, recipes and ideas. Okay, well, we're getting towards the end and I, and I really want um, to let people know how they can find you. And then I'm gonna ask you our last question of what no one knows, but I'd like you to talk about this beautiful, center of yours, the Welcome Home Center, and how people can get there. And please talk about some of the elements, some of the structures even, and the ideas behind it, because it really is a jaw-dropping, a beautiful, beautiful location. So could you talk about Welcome Home for a moment? Yeah, the Welcome Home Integral Healing and Education Center uh, is um, an, uh, an outcropping or the uh, center that I had uh, I had thought about for so long and yeah. it is uh, located in Spring Hill uh, Florida Hernando County and and if you want to have any information on on it or about its locations whereabouts and all that um, go to uh, welcomehomecenter.com and our phone number is 352-600-4242 this center um, is in a in a community where I reside, and it is uh, consisting of um, three lovely buildings, colorful buildings, yes. and and the landscape in and around it, where there are things growing every moment. Um, and these buildings are are for uh, for special purposes. We we have our um, uh, our education building, I call it the oratorium, uh, kind of use that ohm in there, mm -hmm. and each building has an ohm attached to it. So there's an oratorium, which is an education building um, for demonstrations, for lectures, for uh, for performances, for just about everything. And, and that's a beautiful building. Uh, we have our nurture and awaken building um, combination of a cooking uh, kitchen, a commercial kitchen. We have a movement studio in there where we have both cooking and one air aspect of the building and another aspect of the building, we have movement of, of the, on the order of yoga and dance and martial arts and um, breathing exercises and Tai Chi and so on, endless uh, different forms of movement. But the cooking element is the nurturing element, and it's really a beautiful kitchen, and we cook and we give classes there. And then I have the HEAL building, which is uh, is where we do more, and I use my different modalities of healing and hands-on um, bioenergy. Um, we have a set therapist. We have massage. We have beamer therapy. I do chelation, IV therapies, and and, and we have a retail shop in here, and um, it has beautiful uh, elements. It's called the Conscious Market. 
And you know, so it, within these three buildings, um, the oratorium, the imomi, and the uh, Satya Mayom buildings, that's what I call them, respectively, they are all part of a beautiful campus which has food growing on the outside, beautiful flowers. We have insects of every kind. Yeah, We're going to be starting a, a community garden any minute now, and we welcome people from everywhere to come and join us. It's really amazing. And again, it's the Welcome Ohm Center. We'll have all the information uh, along with the podcasts to take a look at it. And there's a beautiful video on your website too that I love that gives a sneak peek. All right. So last question. I wish we had hours to speak with you because we've just not even touched the surface here. But the last question for you is uh, what our show is about, what no one knows. And can you share a story that maybe is not in the book or something that uh, not very many people, if any, know uh, about you um, to share on the show. Well, <laughs> um, I, I, I've been uh, touching uh, different lives of late, and um, and I have a, a very special uh, um, situation with a lady who I um, who I have been helping to heal and overcome her um, cardiovascular disease. And uh, when I uh, saw the results of, of her testing after I initially tested her and then the results after treatments with, um, with my IV infusions um, and some bioenergy healing, she has remarkably recovered. And it's not something that I see on any regular basis in, in, um, in my practice or in, in other practices. We don't see things regress um, uh, that easily and uh, so it was a success story and I'm um, probably going to have it published um, I think it's worth everyone seeing how things like this can make a difference in your life um, and uh, it's it was just remarkable and it really made me happy for her and she and her husband were were just so thrilled to see this and right before their eyes they had the results and um, so when I touch people like this and uh, and they get better, um, that was just that's just one that's just one really neat um, story that I had, and I'm very um, I'm very honored that I was there as part of her uh, healing. Absolutely, oh that's fantastic! Thank you for sharing that, and I'm so happy for you and your your team that that, that you were part of that story, and I can't imagine how elated your patient and family was. And, you know, um, I mean, to me, what I hear is, you know, miracles still exist and they're everywhere, but um, just so happy that, uh, you know, that, that I'm so happy for the people that find you, Dr. Maria. So with that, um, I thank you for being a part of this show and thank you for sharing your knowledge and your Be Consciously Healthy, Awaken to Your Best Life book and your beautiful cookbook, The Conscious Eat. And we'll make sure that our listeners are able to connect and follow you and learn from you. So thank you again for being part of our show. Oh, well, it was my pleasure. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. All right. Thanks again for listening to What No One Knows, the now publishing podcast, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you for listening to our podcast, What No One Knows. If you have a story to share, contact Now Publishing at publish at nowscpress.com. Visit our website, publishwithnow.com, for a free download from our The 90 Day Author book, and let Now Publishing build, publish, and sell your book.